special video for you today. Uh, I've been waiting a long time to do this video and um, as you guys know George and I got married on May 14th of this year and like just like not even a month ago <laughs> and um, I was as you saw in a couple of my videos I was frazzled. I was absolutely over the top frazzled. Um, George kept telling me to calm down. He was like, you know, relax. Tia was here. She was like, mom, you got to relax. And I'm just like, bah! right. <laughs> so, um, the day before the wedding, I was just like in so many different directions. I didn't even know what to do. I was nervous. I was scared. I was, I don't even know why. Cause I, have been with George for eight years like why I was scared I don't know but anyways so Tia said to me she says mom sit down calm calm and I'm like why are you telling me to be calm why are you telling me to sit down I got so much to do she says mom sit down I have your birthday present I was like oh okay so she sat me down and she gave me my birthday present. So I'm going to show you a little video clip of that. Uh, excused my appearance. Like I said, I was pre pre wedding stuff. I look like a hot mess, but um, yeah, here you go. It's not a lot, something little. She's with Charles. Yep. Is she with Charles? Will you want to confirm this or what? Is this the ultrasound picture of your grand Charles? Wow. Will this take will this take your stress away? I was kind of hoping it would. <laughs> go, go, go hug your child now. <laughs> go hug your child now. Oh my god! No, you're supposed to run over there and hug your child now. <laughs> I'm in shock! <laughs> you have to go over there and engaged at Christmas time they were here and they got engaged and then Tia's birthday is on May 1st and she found out just before her birthday that she is having a baby ah oh, so she had to wait almost two weeks to be able to tell me and to tell her dad and everything and she was having such a hard time and I'm telling you, I had no clue. 
not even a clue, not, not, not nothing, zip. I had, I was just so in wedding mode. It, it was the perfect time for Tia to tell me because I was so out of my mind with wedding stuff that I didn't pick up on anything. So it was a complete shock to me. Um, oh. Hold on, I need a second. Okay, let's see if I can get through this. <laughs> Um, I have been wanting to be a grandma for so long, uh, and I knew my kids weren't old enough. They weren't ready. This, this came as a complete shock to everybody because, uh, Tia didn't honestly think that she could get pregnant. And, um, so yeah, it, it was like absolute shock. Um, James, her fiance thought I was going to kill him. She said James was so nervous. He thought, oh, I'm dead, man. Uh, I phoned James right away and I was just screaming like praises and telling him how much I loved him, how much, I, how happy I was that he was in the, he's, that he's in our family. Um, good job, James. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I know that it still might be a little too soon for them to be having a baby but you know what <sighs> I'm not going to judge because I am so freaking over the moon uh about this that um it's like it is what it is and I'm just going to be so so happy when that baby comes and I can hold him or her in my arms um they are going to be doing a gender reveal at some point. Uh, so <sighs> I've been crocheting like crazy. I don't know if you saw my last video. I was saying I've been so busy um, that, you know, I've got to make the movie marquee and the um, 12 project collab that I'm doing with Jennifer, Miss Hooty Hoot, or Jennifer, no wrong, Jeanette and Miss Hooty Hoot and his crafts. I have to make that a priority uh, because I've committed to it. But I'm telling you guys, I have been crocheting like crazy and I've got all these ideas in my head. And every time I'm making something, I'm showing Tia and Tia's going, mom, slow your roll. You don't even know if it's a boy or a girl. And I'm, she's like, well, as long as you make stuff gender neutral and I hate the white, green, yellow thing. So I started making things in more earth tones and I just i've been doing video chats with um with uh sandy from left is right crochet and angela from my my precious yarnery and i've been saying you know look what i made do you, do you think this is good enough you know and they're just like they're like yes it's perfect so, <laughs> um <clears throat> But I wasn't allowed to tell anybody, but I had to tell somebody. I had to let just a little bit out because I was going out of my mind. So at the wedding, uh, Sandy was on video, on live video chat watching the wedding. So she got to see it because I presented the card to my sister. And <clears throat> I showed my sister what I got for my birthday. And she was like looking at me, looking at Tia, looking at me, looking at Tia, and looking at Tia going, you? <laughs> and I'm going, well, I'm not pregnant. Like, what are you thinking? <laughs> I had everything taken out. Like, like, you know this. So she was just so happy. And she's like, we can go baby shopping. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> so... <laughs> Yeah, so grandma and auntie are going to be doing some serious shopping. So I have to go back to work and just work my little guts out. <laughs> but anyway, so ah, going to be grandma, guys. <laughs> I When Lisa from Lisa's Crochet announced that she was going to be a grandma, I was so jealous. I was so jealous. And, you know, it broke my heart. 
to see her having to go through the fact that her daughter had moved to the UK and she was in Canada and <clears throat> she couldn't be there to um, to see the baby growing in, in her baby. And uh, and then she finally got to go to the UK and see the, the baby and it was just the perfect visit for her. And I was so happy for her. Um, but I was just like, oh, oh. and I'm going, it's not time yet. It's not time yet. The higher power will provide when it's time. Um, so they did. And I was just like, I, I'm still in shock. Um, Tia has been sending me, like, she just had her second ultrasound today. So she is now, this is 12 weeks. She's been constantly giving me updates on, like, she's got this app on her phone, I guess, and it tells how big the baby is and compared to a piece of fruit or something. And so she's been sending those to me. Um, she sent me a couple of pictures of her tummy. She's just starting to show. Uh, so, and she's feeling some fluttering going on. So the um, x-ray or the ultrasound tech said to her today that the baby is very active uh, and the baby is about two and a half inches big and the heartbeat is 153. So they're <laughs> healthy baby. So yeah, uh, it's got all its fingers and toes and everything. And I think it's going to be a boy. Just saying. Um, Tia's not sure. James thinks it's going to be a girl and he gave he made me do a hundred dollar bet so <clears throat> I'm gonna win I'm gonna win and, <laughs> and that's all there is to it so I've been having a really hard time not making things that are gender specific so let me show you what I've been making you guys <laughs> I was so happy when Angela from my from my precious yarnery came out with a blanket she just came out with a tutorial that is a blanket for baby but it's not a baby blanket it's actually a blanket that you uh put the baby on to change diapers like a floor blanket so i was so excited when she came out with the tutorial but then she said you know i have to make 200 pieces my was telling you i have to make 200 pieces for this blanket I've got 25 of one color and 15 of the other I am nowhere near <laughs> where I'm supposed to be because I've been too busy making other things <sighs> so yeah okay so here we go I'll show you the first thing that I made Okay, so here is the first blanket. This is the tummy time blanket. You see it? It's, um, it's whoop, the uh, waffle stitch. So I figured there was enough color in here. It could be for either boy or girl. Um, and this was, oops, the Hobie Fantasy Jumbo. Yeah, Fantasy Jumbo. And this color is color number two. I think that tells you a lot. Oh, yeah, so I think I used, this is the second, second ball, I think, and I still have some left. Or was that the third ball? I think it might be the third ball. So, yeah, so it's, but I thought it was really cute, and it's really squishy. So, that'll be good for tummy time. So, that was the first thing I, I made. <clears throat> And then the second thing I made, and I gotta say I'm kind of proud of this, <laughs> is 
is another blanket. This is the baby, oops, the baby blanket. In the neutral tones. And then I put a teddy bear in the corner. See? <laughs> there you go. And this is the V stitch. So this is going to be big enough for baby for quite some time. And it's really squishy soft. And I made this from this, uh, the uh, Red Heart Super Saver brushed. And this color is mink. I did I used that and then I used <clears throat> what was this other color I used I think it was a cloud cake wasn't it was it a cloud cake maybe it wasn't geez you guys I don't remember what the second yarn was hmm I don't know uh, but anyways, the you can see this is the brushed. It's kind of a fuzzy kind. And then this is a regular um, regular yarn. <laughs> I can't remember what yarn it was. Anyway, I think it turned out really nice. I just love the bear. It's the first time I've ever made an applique, like a big applique like that. So to go with this, the next thing I made uh, was <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> oh my goodness. I made that and I laughed so hard and I thought, my God, I can't wait. To see the baby in that. Isn't that so cute? <laughs> uh, so yeah, so I put little oops, little wood beads on there. And these are sewn right in. Like I put the yarn right through it. So I did a chain going one way. And then I put the yarn through the bead. And then went back the other way doing single crochets. Nope. I did slip stitches. Yeah. So those aren't going anywhere. But I just thought that was adorable. <laughs> so that was the next thing I made. Then I made this. This is a little campfire cardigan. <laughs> Smallest campfire cardigan I've ever made in my life. <laughs> it has the front post, back post on the sleeves. It's got a little border, like just a regular border there. And then it's got the front post, back post. It's kind of hard to see because it's a variegated yarn. Um, but it's a front post, back post, all the way down for the collar. <clears throat> and these are, oops, these are snaps. Oops, hang on. Do, 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 do. Come on. It's hard to do this with nails. <clears throat> so... I've got little snaps that come open. Okay. To go with this, I made a little hat. <laughs> and that's all front post, back post. To go with this little hat. Because the baby is due. I forgot to tell you guys the due date. The due date is at the end of December. So... I'm making all this stuff now because Christmas is my busy time 
and uh, so I've got to get through all of my Christmas craft fairs, get through Christmas, and then I will be going to the mainland uh, closer to the due date to be with her, be with Tia when she has the baby, if they'll have me. I might be a total crazy woman by that time. <laughs> so yeah, so there's that little outfit. Ah, oh, so happy. <laughs> and then I made my daughter, um, when she was growing up, her friends used to call her giraffe because she was the tallest kid in her class for quite a few years. So she says, mom, I have to have a giraffe somewhere in the baby's room. I says, okay. So I've got a couple of ideas of things that I want to make. Uh, that are giraffe related but <clears throat> I all the giraffe stuff that I've seen like patterns and everything they make the giraffe in a yellowy orangey color and I thought when you see a giraffe in real life they're not that color they're like a beige and brown like a like a orangey brown color like but the base of them is mostly beige right so I decided to make a teething ring like that <laughs> so the baby can hold on to it this is made from cotton 100% kitchen cotton oh that was a labor of love let me tell you I hate kitchen cotton but I decided I'm just going to bite the bullet and I'm going to do it so I did. So she's got a giraffe and a cow. <laughs> the udders are a little crooked, but whatever. <laughs> udders? No, the horns. <laughs> so anyway, so there. She's got a cow and a giraffe. <sighs> I'm probably going to make more of those. And then last but not least so far, I just finished this. This was supposed to be a rattle. I don't know. I used a 3.75 millimeter hook with this. It was made from the kitchen cotton. It was supposed to be rattle size. So I had to kind of pivot and change my idea. <laughs> it's definitely not... Um, yeah, it's way bigger. <laughs> so I made a lovey. <laughs> now, <clears throat> excuse me. I did, this is basically a scrunchie that I made with the elastic bands. And I just did that because I didn't, you know, I wanted to kind of try and hide the, um, the join. So now he's kind of like a clown dog. <laughs> clown dog. Yeah, okay. This is like, like, it's, if it had a dog. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, yeah. And this was just, uh, just a regular acrylic that I used, black and white. Nothing special. So, yeah. Ah, <sighs> so that's what I've been working on. Then I thought about when my kids were young, I used to read them these books that I think a lot of parents had. So I went for that on the hunt. And I, I get my books from a discount bookstore uh, online. <laughs> and they're brand new books, but they are at a discounted price. <clears throat> like a wholesale price, kind of. And um, they are Mercer Meyer books. And of course, the first one I had to buy was this one. I'm just like, oh. There's another one. <coughs> Excuse me. There's another one that's called, I think it's called um, Fishing with Grandpa or Gone Fishing with Grandpa or something. I'm going to get that one for George. Uh, to represent George and um, yeah I thought it was just oh 
I had to get it. Um, and then I got, whoops. These are all, yeah. And I got these Mercer Meyer books. And these ones are for also for when baby gets bigger and can read on his or her own, right? So they're called I Can Read. And this one came in a pack uh, on Amazon. And it came with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight books. So they're all, you know, they're all really cute. Just My F Best Friend, Exploring the Great Outdoors, Whoop. Just a Baby Bird, uh, Just a Teacher's Pet, Just Helping My Dad, uh, A Green Green Garden, Just Critters Who Care, and uh, Just Pick Us Please. So I got those Mercer, whoops, Mercer Mayer books. And then Tia had made a request for me to get the Bernstein Bears. So I did. Uh, and these also came in a pack, I believe. So first firehouse visit vi uh, visit the firehouse that's so rude St. Patrick's Day pet rescue oops hospital friends Bedtime Battle. Mm, we all know that one. <laughs> Show and Tell. And Dinosaur Dig. Now there's other ones that I want to get to. Um, but for now, these, these are good for now. So yes, I am just so happy. I want to make all the things. Uh, it's it's killing me not to make a baby dress though. It really is. Everybody's showing baby dresses now. And I, everybody's going, bag of day baby dresses, bag of day baby dresses. And I'm going, I can't until I know if it's a boy or a girl. I was just like, ah. So yeah. I just, I'm. Because Tia says, you know, slow down, Mom. Like, what are you doing? And, and I says, Tia, I says, I'm going to be so busy over the Christmas holidays that I can't possibly fit everything in. I have to build my stock for my craft fairs. I have to do vloggist. Um, you know, I've got to get ready for Christmas. And I need to do stuff now when I, while I have the time. Uh, but she says, but you don't even know how big the baby is going to be or anything. And I says, yeah, well, I'm kind of gearing towards a six pound baby because that's what I had. Both my kids were around six pounds. Um, so that's what I'm kind of thinking. But we'll see as time goes on. And if if she finds that this stuff that I'm making doesn't fit the baby, uh, that's fine. It's I, I'll just take it back and sell it. Right. So, and then I'll just have more, I can make more stuff. <laughs> I just make more and more and more. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so anyways, I just really wanted to share this with you guys. <sighs> now that I've shared it with you, I can relax. I have been so amped up to, to announce this to everybody. 
my baby girl's having a baby. Oh my God. I had this realization last night, blew my mind. I have two other sisters, one I don't talk about. I've got an old, the older sister, then Charlene, then me. None of them have grandkids yet. Um, I don't believe Cindy's ever going to have grandkids. Charlene's probably not going to have grandkids for quite a while. Um, if at all, I'm hoping she does because she'd be great grandmother. I know I'm not going to get any grandkids from my oldest. So T is it. T is it. And this is going to be the first. Um, well, my oldest sister had two kids, so, but she doesn't have any grandkids. So this is going to be the first grandchild in our line of me and my sisters. And I'm the youngest. I thought that was mind blowing. Mind blowing. Uh, Tia is the youngest out of all the, out of, out of all, uh, out of all of our kids. Uh, and she's having a baby first. So I told her that. And I says, you know, if grandma and grandpa were here, that would have been their first great grandchild or their great. How, wait a minute. It would have been their third. No. It would have been their first great grandchild. Yeah. Oh, man. My dad would be so happy. My mom would be just flipping out. She would have been over the moon. Um, so, yeah, I thought that was pretty amazing. She goes, Yeah, no pressure. <laughs> I said, There's no pressure. You know, the kid's a legacy. That's all. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So she's passing on our gene pool. So I am just so happy about this. I know she'll probably have another child as well in the future. But this is going to be oh, so special. <laughs> okay. I'm going to start crying again. So I'm going to go. Uh, thanks for joining me. Thanks for sharing this with me. Um, and I'm thinking about having something going on in the next while. Now that I've told you guys about this, uh, I'm, I have some thoughts. So I will keep you posted on that. Okay. So I love you all. And I will talk to you guys soon. Okay. Oh, if you have any baby ideas, like crochet baby ideas, let me know. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye.